Good day everyone, my name is Mr. Mashalela. I'm taking you through computer practice info. We are dealing with word processing. Uh, this is the ninth lesson. When you have keep, keep when you're keeping track of all the lessons, now we are busy discussing where you are gonna be editing a word document by creating the following tab stops. We are gonna be setting up a tab stop. We are also gonna be tapping using the test tab stop positions. Let me quickly take you to a Word document. It doesn't have to be a typed document. You can easily open a new Word document and practice from there. In my case, I'm going to be creating tab stop after the first paragraph. In order to accomplish such, after the first paragraph, I need to put my cursor mouse where I want to create the tab stop from. So by doing so, I'll, after putting my cursor mouse, I will right click. Then go to paragraph. After paragraph, at the end of this box, at the bottom left, there is this button written tabs. I click on it. If I click on it, I get to another box, a, tab, a tabs box. That is where I'm going to be creating my tab stop positions. So remember, taking me back from other lessons where I was talking about margins. In this case, your computer setups can be set up in a centimeter or in an inch format. You will take what is actually the doable according to your setup. So in, in my case, my one is you will see after this tab stop position tabs default tab stops, you will see that mine is in centimeters. Then yours you will see from this type this, this place that it is maybe inches or centimeters. But the question will give you a direct instruction with both instructions. You will choose what is applicable to you. For instance, they can ask you to create a tab stop position at 2.54 centimeter or 1 inch. I'm making an example. That is when you are going to select the 2.54 centimeter if yours is defaulted by centimeters. But if it is inches, then you're going to consider the 1 inch instead. But in my case, I'm using the centimeters. Let's say, for example, my first tab stop will be four inch, four centimeters. I mean, or one point two three inch. So it, I'll consider the four centimeters instead. Then here at tab stop position, I will type four centimeter. Once I've typed it here, I must also type it on the other side, on the default tab stops. I will also type 4 cm. Once I've done that, then I will quickly press on set. Then it will appear inside this big box. Once it is inside this big box, it means that it's already set as a tab stop position. Maybe another one will be 11 cm. I'm making an example. 11 centimeter or 5.63 inch then i'm gonna change at the tab stop position to 11 centimeter at the default tab stop i must also type 11 centimeter after typing in both sides i press set then now you can see that on our big box we've got 4 centimeter and 11 centimeter now it means I've got two step stop positions. Then under alignment, they will specify whether you're gonna be setting a tabular stop, a, a left tabular stop, or a right tabular stop, or center tabular stop. They will specify. But for now, let's concentrate on the left one. If it was a right, you are gonna click on right. But let us concentrate on left for now. Then forget about this one. It doesn't have to be an issue for now. After we've done all these parts, then we press OK. But before we press OK, make sure that here on this box, there is only 4 cm and 11 cm if they ask you to do such. If there is another one, let me make an example. If there was 8 cm, which was not asked from the question itself, if there was 8 cm like this, but you only need 11 and four then you're gonna click on eight centimeter 
and press clear it's like you are removing that eight centimeter because you don't want it then you're gonna be left with the ones that you want which is four and eleven then we press ok then the tap stops has been set now depending on the documents where you are typing from let's say for example from the first or at the margin of the page they have typed name then you simply type name let's say now after this day there is a tab stop there's there's a space in between the words which means that is the step the tab stop position after typing name you click on tab the tab will quickly go to the four centimeter that we have typed at the four centimeter let's say maybe it is the the the, the, the word is color Then the last word, maybe let's say it is number. We we'll press tab, then it will take you right through to 11 now, 11 centimeters. Then we said the, the next one is number. You see, we've typed name and press tab from the keyboard. It quickly take us to four centimeters, then we type color. After that, you press tab and it quickly take us to 11 centimeters, then we press, you type number. After that, you simply press enter to move to the next line. After on the next line, it's gonna be the document that is gonna tell you what is there on the next line. Let's say name it the name is Mswa. Then you're gonna type in Mswa. If it is capital letters or it is a sentence case, you must consider all always that those are your marks. Then you press tab, it will take you exactly where centimeter is then you'll type the color with let's say is white right. then you press tap again it will take you to 11 centimeter let's say the number is 555 five, five. then after that you move to the next line maybe the second person is nosy press tap maybe nosy is the color is black you press tap then the number of nodes maybe it is four four four. Press enter to move to the next line. Maybe the another person, the name is Quit. Press tab, the color is blue. Press tab, the number is six 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 nine. Keep on doing that until the end of the, the tabs. The, te the text uh, words and so on or at the end of the paragraph of, t of tabs it is very simple and straightforward but uh, the most tricky part is all about setting the tab stop then after that now we are typing on the tab stop positions then it becomes very easy but also please mind whether for instance these were the main topics or subtopics of, e of each tab stop position if they were in capital letters, you must also do so. If they are bold, you must also do so. If they ask you to underline them, you must also do so. Simply highlight them. For instance, if you are, let's say you want to underline them, and you, you highlight them, go to home and press underline. Then the following documents. As I've said, if there is one capital letter and other small letters, you must also do as they ask. If the, it was not bold, then you must also do not bold. Remove the bold from there, and so on and so on. If it was italic, you must do so. Sometimes they can ask you maybe to change, uh, to change the line spacing. Maybe to a double line spacing. I've taught you on another lesson how to change uh, line spacing, but for practice sake you can highlight and right click go to paragraphs underline spacing you simply click double then press ok then it is double line spacing i'm sure you enjoyed the tabs and i'm gonna take you again on another lesson which gonna be lesson number 10 as soon as i upload it i hope you're gonna enjoy the rest of your day or evening please do not uh, do not be on the dark but if you've got any question i'm sure there's gonna be platform to ask 
and enjoy.